Hello and welcome to this video where we will be adding collision detection for when the bat or whenever your character hits one of the walls. Okay. Um, now, first thing though, I just kind of like to say um, I've not been as efficient as possible. I don't like this little bit of code there that says when the green flag clicks, we're going to forever move four steps because it means that as soon as you start the game, even when you're on the start menu, that uh, you, your bat technically will be moving around, so we're going to change it. We still want to keep that part, but we're going to get rid of the when green flag clicked, and we want it to be something more like this when the backdrop switches to level one. Um, so let's grab that. Well, let's put it there. Um, so now it's going to be a little bit more efficient. It's only going to start up once um, it we're actually on this level. Okay. So now that we've got that out of the way, uh, let's add some collision detection. Um, so what we want to do um, is we want to say if then. So it's this one right there. So if, and we're going to sense in because the idea that touch is um, one of your senses. So if touching color, now what you'll do as well is you'll see that when you move that shape into the, the placeholder there, it goes white around it and then you can snap it into place like that. So if touching color and then when you press on the actual color, it's set as um, like a pinky purple at the moment, um, then you'll notice if you look at that square there, when I'm moving it around the page, it changes color um, to whatever my mouse is touching. So we'll select that gray and that gray as well, if you remember about the more advanced walls, just so happens to be the same gray that I've put as that outline there. So when we touch that color gray, what do we want to do? Um, let's have a look. Uh, we would want to uh, motion. I think we should point in direction or let's have a look. Uh, in fact, no, turn. We're not going to point in a specific direction. We're going to turn. And how far are we going to turn? We're going to turn 180 degrees. So we're going to face the opposite way. Okay. And then we're going to say, um, but the idea, common mistake now is that you just put kind of the the trigger for it so say for example when backdrop uh switches to level one um and then you press go and then let's go through and then you think all right why, why is that not working that's rather strange it's not working but the idea though is that you've only ever said when the backdrop switches to level one now at the exact moment the backdrop switches to level one um, that bat was not touching it um, so what we need to do is we need to throw a forever in there as well so forever if it touches gray then do that so let's start again let's see how that works now and there you go they'll see um, it's glitching out a little bit there. We'll talk about that in a second. Uh, but now, at the moment, you can see that it's it, you cannot go through the walls. Um, it does look rather glitchy. And technically, if I keep holding right, then it will eventually kind of battle through, which is not great. And we'll show you how to fix that now. Okay, so let's see if we can get it. But it does look automatically. It's a lot better. Now, you probably notice as well in some computer games that you've maybe played yourself, um, there's there's often bad collision detection as well like what that is okay now I have selected a different difficult character as well with a bat but we'll try and figure out how to do it so the idea now is that as soon as the bat turns around its wing is automatically hitting again so we need to create a little bit of separation between them so let's do that on motion we would move so if it touches that we want it to turn and then move a few steps as well and we'll say five steps we'll see what that looks like so we don't want it to appear that you you jump away we'll go from there and oh nope still no that's not great let's have a look let's change it to 10 and let's go for that one and stop and play there we go oh we're in the way there let's start from a bit of a gap and it works okay like that and then oh, oh it's going to struggle there but i think oh there we go that's not too bad we're getting better don't get me wrong it's far from perfect but it's when it switches over and the character the, the wings so maybe I've selected just a character that's not really going to work with that, which is really useful in in terms of creating a big video tutorial. Um, but we'll see what we can do. Because 
Yeah, I think it's rather awkward, those wings. So if you look at the wings when they're down and then when they're up, so say, for example, if the bat's ears are there and it just so happens to switch its costume over at that exact point, um, then the wings are going to be well in there. So maybe this might look ridiculous. But again, this is the type of stuff you have to do when you make it a game. Maybe if we have it jumping all the way over there, so it's like 50 steps, but I think then the jump is going to be too big. Yeah, let's say 30. Um, so a lot of it, you will have guessed, is just trial and error, seeing what works best. That doesn't seem to be too bad at the moment. But then when it hits the bottom. Yeah, so it's maybe less. Um, but you'd maybe think about getting a different costume, getting a different character, maybe spacing your walls out um, as well. It's probably a bit too big, this character as well. So let's shrink it down, maybe make it about half the size. Oh, maybe a bit too small. That. There we go. Let's give that a go. There we go. So that's automatically looking a lot better now. I don't think that's going to be glitching. But now it looks like it's jumping off the wall a bit too much. So we'll see if we can reduce that a bit more. So let's move 20 steps. And that's looking a bit better now. So now when I'm flying about, it looks a lot better. I think I saw a little glitch there. But... Yep, that doesn't look too bad. Let's put it there. Yeah, that's quite nice. So now we've got our bat moving around and it can't go through walls, which is nice. Well, technically, you can always try and break it. Like if you just keep pressing right and maybe, oh, maybe not actually. Um, yeah, no, it's not too bad that. Oh, let's try it with, if I just hold it up. Nope, oh, I think we've, I think we seems to be spot on. Um, so there we go. Um, now this is going to change depending on your character, <coughs> excuse me, and the shape of your character and what the costumes are. Well, you'll be changing kind of how many steps you need to make it bounce and stuff like that. The least steps, the better really. But obviously, you might want a character that's quite animated like mine. Um, but some characters will just be kind of maybe legs moving or legs walking. Um, so it's completely up to you. I've chosen a character that's extremely difficult i didn't realize at the time but we've managed to overcome it so it's all good um thank you very much for watching this video the next video will hopefully be about collecting items um so thank you very much stay tuned for the next video